Step 3 Z Access Part 2 Before we get started, I would like to introduce you to the Z Access of my old home built machine. Generally, the Z axis in this tutorial is similar but much cleaner and sturdy design. To hold the aluminum angle in place, we will bevel the edge of our rail support. A chamfer bit is used for this purpose, 45 degree angle. The depth of the cut will be less than half of the thickness of the board to leave some stop to guide the bearing on the bit. MDF is pretty nasty. Wear eye protection and a mask. Some MDFs contain formaldehyde. We'll be using the 3 inch wide piece for the rear support. This is my bathroom. The bathroom is a great place to contain the MDF dust from the family. And then we'll clean thoroughly afterwards. The entire length does not need to be chamfered since we will need about 8 to 9 inches for the Z axis. Chamfer 10 inches or 11 inches to be safe. This is what we are after. Okay, we are out of the bathroom. Here is the finished piece. Here I am trying to assemble the Z-axis without the back. Due to the chamfering, the back will need to be measured. Using the pieces from part one of the Z-axis build, a clamp is used to hold it together. This is how I am getting the length needed for the z-axis back. It is the only way to get a tight fit. Subtract about 130 seconds from the measurement so the assembly can be tightened around the rail. Now to cut a piece for the back from one of the 4 inch wide pieces. Remember, do not use the 2 foot 3 inch long pieces yet. Those, those will be used for the gantry. From here on, my measurements will differ from yours. Just for reference, the length I'm measuring is about 8 and 7 inches long. Here is the z-axis back with the correct measurement. I'm cutting a piece of aluminum angle to test the mechanism. I will shorten it later for use on the z-axis rail.
assemble the Z-axis bearing supports and back. Getting all of the components together is a little tricky. Funny, you're being recorded. Say hello. Let's try again. The open end where my right hand is will hold the router slides perfectly and it is incredibly strong MDF is a great material to use to get you started on the Y axis let's chamfer the 7 inch by 2 foot 3 inch board some people call this part the X axis but I like to call it the Y axis this is done just like the Z axis rail support piece at the beginning of this video